quantum mechanical model of atom. Schrodinger equation. This is not too tough. It is very easy to understand. First of all, what is the meaning for this two dot on O? This is a alphabet in Latin language. It should be pronounced as OE, Schrodinger equation. Okay, we studied many atom models under classical mechanics. This classical mechanics fails to explain Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and the dual behavior of electrons. Dual behavior of electrons was explained by de Broglie which was not dealt with any classical mechanics. So on the basis of these two things namely Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and dual behavior of electrons the quantum mechanics was developed. Erwin Schrodinger expressed the wave nature of electron in terms of differential equation. And the time independent equation, Schrodinger equation can be written as H cap psi equal to E psi. H cap psi equal to E psi. Here H is called Hamiltonian operator and the psi is wave function and E is total energy of the system that is kinetic energy as well as potential energy of the system. Now you may develop a doubt, can't we cancel the psi and psi and write it as H cap equal to E? No, we cannot cancel these two things because I told H is Hamiltonian operator. What do you mean by operator? Here I am writing some letters 5, 2. Again the same number. Now what is the value of this number? You can say just 5 and 2. Now tell me the value. It is 7. Here now tell me the value. It is 10. So, the number are same, but the value are operated by the symbols like this plus and into, is it not? They are operators of this number. Similarly, this H cap is the operator of the psi. Hence, you cannot cancel psi and psi. Right. Now, H is denoted by the value. The value of H is minus H square by 8 pi square m into dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square plus v. This is the value of Hamiltonian operator. Now, substitute the value of this H cap in this equation 1. This total value should be multiplied by psi, is it not? Okay. Now, applying the value minus H square by 8 pi square m into this should be multiplied by psi. So, dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square plus v should be multiplied by psi again. v psi equal to what? Equal to e psi. Now, multiply this equation 2 by minus 
8 pi square m by h square. Multiply this whole equation on both sides by the term minus 8 pi square m by h square. So, write the equation minus 8 pi square m by h square into minus h square by 8 pi square m into dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square plus multiply this term also by the term minus 8 pi square m by h square. So, minus 8 pi square m by h square into v psi equal to minus 8 pi square m by h square into e psi. Here you can say this is the negative term, is it not? Now, let us simplify this equation 3. These two terms can be cancelled and you can write dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square. Now, here you have minus 8 pi square m by h square this side as well as this side as a common factor. Similarly, psi is also present on both sides. You can take these two terms minus 8 pi square m by h square and psi as a common for v and e. Bring this term to the left side. Now you get plus 8 pi square m by h square minus v plus e. If this term bring to the left side, this minus will become plus. So, here we have plus e minus v. So, write it as e minus v. And what one more thing we have? Psi on both sides. So, psi is equal to what? Equal to 0. This equation can be solved only for certain values of e. Those values represents the atomic orbits. The corresponding psi values represents atomic orbitals. That means E gives the energy levels, permitted energy levels or orbits and psi gives the atomic orbitals. So, by keeping all these things in your mind, you can easily answer any question related to Schrodinger equation. Clear? Thank you.